Hey yo, what's Karkalakin everybody? Your boy Bongo's back and today I have an extremely special video for you guys. Not special in the fact that, uh, you know, your boy Bongeezy's filming. Yeah, yeah, quite yeah, often. yeah. You got Wolfie behind the camera. Yeah, yeah that's light work, that's light work. AKA Charles No No Better video in the description. But guys, look around. What's going on here? What where, is this? Where are we? Who's that? What's Who's going that? on? What's going on? Yo, if you guys don't even know already, your boy Wolfie hooked it up with the condo. This guy got a place for all the boys to come down to LA and post up and chill and film and yada yada yada. Jeez! Welcome to the new crib. We're out here. Now we got the condo. So you guys already know, lots of videos come and find your head top in the new condo. Lots of cooking videos especially. So if you guys are ready, go ahead. Smash that like button. Smash that like button. Come on. Give it a little. All right, all right, that's yeah, 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 I don't want to give too many edits. You guys got to go check out his channel. Today, we are going to be testing out a bunch of egg cooking hacks. Now, I've seen a bunch of this stuff on the internet, I've seen it a bunch on Twitter, Instagram, a whole bunch of ways to cook eggs. But today, we are testing to see how effective are these egg cooking hacks. So let's just jump right into it, all right? I got a bunch of dutty eggs. Okay. And the first one is going to be some like DIY sandwich bun. Oh, okay. All right, it's let's like, go. It's like you can you can low key make this in the morning. Yeah, yeah. All right. All you need is a couple pieces of toast. I see the whole wheat bread. Now we need two pieces. But first piece, what we're gonna do? Bam. Now, guys, what you will need is a glass cup. What we want to do with this glass cup is just make a nice little circle right here. You see the vibes? Might give it a little spin. Oh, now we're talking. Boom. Yep. All right, you see the vibes? Now that we have cut out the circle of the bread, what we want to do, put another slice on it, just like that. Whoa. And flip it upside down. All right, now we have created this little hole slash bed oz for the egg. Now, apparently the hack goes, grab an egg and into the bread it goes, boom. Jeez. Once you have reached this spot here, what you guys want to do, grab this and put it in the microwave. What? For how long? For one minute. No! Boom, you guys see the brand new microwave. It's never this been used. never <laughs> been used. This is the first time using this microwave. So it should be pretty good. So we're going to go one minute here. Now, one minute might be a little too short, but I don't know. I, don't know. I guess we'll see. All right, guys, three seconds left on the microwave. One and boom. Now, we want to see if it is fully cooked. Not bad. Okay, not bad. Definitely still needs cooking. Though. So guys, don't believe everything you see on the internet. This thing definitely needs another like two minutes or so. Yeah, I give it a minute, a minute, a minute, 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 minute. I'm gonna give it another minute. There's about 10 seconds left in the minute, but the egg is going ham. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my yeah. goodness. Okay, that that's enough. Now it's steaming hot. Okay. It's cooked though. Okay, you see the buzz, but honestly, is it cooked? Or it looks it, cooked. Does it? Cause I don't know. It looks kind of soggy to me. Oh man, yeah, it's soggy. Oh, what's going yeah, on here? Yeah. Oh. This is this is washing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why yeah, is it yeah. bubbling up? Why is it bubbling like that? Let me see if I give it one more. Holy smokes! I don't, yeah, I don't know if I like this. Yeah, this is. Moving. Is it alive? It's moving by itself. I don't know what's going on with this hack, but now we gotta cut into this guy. So let's see. Uh, if this bread's soggy. Wait, is this the hack? This is the hack. What's the hack? This is it. You <laughs> gotta see if this is actually a good sandwich. Okay, okay, okay. It took no time. It and took... we didn't even add butter. Nothing. It was no light butter, work. Okay. No you can add salt and pepper. We're gonna cut into this. Light work. Okay, these are quick hacks. You know those guys? This is light work. Okay, let's see. All right, yeah, I'll give this a pass. Cause look, it's at, cooked. Take a look at this. You see the vat? It's cooked all the way. It's not really poached. This piece <laughs> of the bread is a little soggy, which I don't like. Yo. This will be the deciding factor. Yo. This is a. Okay. This is a pot. Two minute breakfast hack. There you go. Two slices of toast, one egg, on to the next hack. The next hack, guys, is more of like an aesthetic hack. I don't really know if this is even a hack, but if you guys like Italian food mm. and you guys are on a keto diet, like my boy Wolfie and I. You guys already know them. You see the vibe. Shut then, up. Then technically, we can't really have spaghetti. No, we can't. But. We can have egg spaghetti. Egg uh, getty? <laughs> Alright, egg betty. You see the pink <laughs> getty. So guys, what you need to make your spaghetti is two eggs, maybe three. We might use three actually. So here, boom, there's the first one. We want to put these. Oh my oh, god. Oh, don't get the shot. Whoa! Wait, 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 wait. This is a lucky day. This is a crazy This is a day. lucky day. You Come guys on, seen guys. it here first. Subscribe and subscribe <laughs> to me if you guys have never seen this before. This is a magic egg, two yolks in oh, one. Yo, if these are twins, I'm out of here. 
Oh, just one. Uh, just big one. This is disappointing. But that's exactly what we needed. So, guys, what you want to do now? Grab a whisk and whisk these guys together. All right. Make sure you guys are breaking the egg yolks. Those guys that were twins are now dusted. Once these are mixed and whisked, what we now want to do is move it over to the oven. And guys, while Bongo's moving this over to the oven, I actually have a trivia question. This is gonna see how long you guys have been watching the videos. He had a whisk in his hand. Comment down below. What I would call that. What what would we call that? There's one word. Come on, man. We have our pan, and we're gonna go ham with the pam on the pan. You see the rhyming vibe. Now, once you guys sprayed your pan, what you guys wanna do, and then put the eggs, boom, just like that. Now, you guys wanna create that little circle vibe. See the little circle vibe? Once you have a little circle vibe, you wanna cover this guy. All right, let that cook up. Our omelet's been in here, or whatever the hell it is. I don't even know if it's an omelet, but it's been in here, it looks cooked. I'm about to take the top off. Oh. Hey, now, since we use the pan, we should be able to just slide us. You see the vibes? Oh Ooh. my god, that's actually perfect. Now, you guys are probably wondering, Mongo, this just looks like a tortilla. Yeah. Guys, the whole point of this is that if you like Italian food and you want spaghetti, but you can't have spaghetti, this is what you gotta do. Take your pizza knife, thinly slice out these guys. Oh my god. So that you're making kind of like a pasta vibe. That's low key genius. You see the vibe? Once you have sliced up your eggs just like so guys, with a pair of tongs what you can now do is grab your spaghetti, <laughs> even though it's really eggs. You can't spell but look, spaghetti without eggs. But look, it looks like spaghetti. Yeah. Is it not? Mm, kind of. Kind of? Yeah, yeah, kind of, kind of. Okay, okay, well, we can now line it up like this, like it is spaghetti. <laughs> you know those guys? Yeah. Okay. Come on, dog. Okay. It actually does It happen. actually looks like spaghetti now. You that's see, a, a... you see the vibes. Now, to add a little bit of a, a little bit of a touch. Okay. Cheese. Come on now. Let me see the what's, a, what's a little pasta without cheese? Bro, I'm saying you cannot spell spaghetti without egg. So Fast. I mean And you can't you know spell Yeah, here we go. Bust down. Yep, without without us. Us. Look at this look look of salt bay actually. Come on man. Yeah, yeah. You see the vibe. Nothing went on the table. Now it's time for the ultimate decision. Is this even worth it? Yes. Should we have just eaten the eggs by itself? Or is the spaghetti a vibe? Here we go. Would you like some salt and pepper, sir? Yes, oh, please. Why, of course. You know these guys? Yeah. They... Come on, man. Say one. Looking that's up. good, that's good, that's good. Pepper or salt, yes. Say one. Yeah. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. All right, now let's try to taste our egg spaghetti. Boom. Cheese! Oh, it just sucks like noodles. Pause. I am. No. I rate it. Okay. To play a trick on your mind. That's like what I was going to say. It's only mind games. It's just a mind game. It's like, yeah, you see the spaghetti vibes. Like when you're on a keto diet like me and Bongo, but you need to play mind games. Let me see this. Bro, look. It actually looks like linguine. Yeah. Or fettuccine. Mm hmm. Not bad. Bro. 10 out of 10, next hack. Sticking to the theme of making things look something they're not, we're actually gonna make this thing look like something it should be, but it's not actually quite yet. What I'm talking about, guys, is I'm gonna take this egg. Whoa. Yep. First of all, this egg is very long. This is another aesthetic trick, another aesthetic hack that you guys can, you know, you guys can, you guys can see the vibes. But first and foremost, what we wanna do is crack open this egg and unpeel it. Once you have cracked open your eggs, you guys see the vibe that I have a couple eggs. Now what we need is a straw. And I know you guys are probably thinking, Bongo, what are you doing now, buddy? All right, so here we go. This is what you guys want to do. You want to grab your straw like this. Like, one word, scissors. What you guys want to do is put it halfway into the scissors like this and make one even cut like that. Grab this side and cut it just so that you're not actually cutting through the straw, but you're almost quite there. And mm. creating a nice little flat vibe. Now, what you guys wanna do is take the round pieces and flatten them together, all right? See how I'm flattening out that round piece? Now we have kinda like a triangle right here. You see the vibe? So now it's flat. You guys see the vibes? It's flattened out. Now what we wanna do is open it up so that we create a little triangle here. All right, you see the triangle vibes? And what we wanna do is right here, we wanna start creating little Triangles, boom. We don't want to pierce the entire egg. We just want to pierce a little bit. Oh, this is gonna take a while, folks, so bear with me here. So once you have completely scored your egg all around with the straw, what you guys can now do is, like, hatch open the egg. Oh my goodness, oh my god. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Now the egg is hatched open. So we're just gonna go, boom. Grab them again, 
put him here. Jeez. And let him stand like this. All right. Now, guys, you're probably thinking he doesn't quite look like a little chicken yet. So we have to spice him up. Oh God. We need a carrot. Give me two seconds. All right, guys. I took my little chick to the spa and gave him a nice little mini cover. So everybody, take a look. Oh my God. At my man Rico. Are you? All right. You kidding? see the Rico vibes. This guy's hatching out the egg. He's, He's got a nice way. little mohawk. A because oh my you guys God, see the eyes. Cute. He's actually adorable. So guys, here you go. This is exactly how you make a chick out of a hard-boiled egg. He looks like he's popping out of there. Oh my God. Okay, come on. You see the DIY vibes. So pretty much, I made his mohawk out of carrots, and yes, exactly, I made his eyes out of peppercorn and gave him a nice little orange beak. But you guys see the vibes. My boy Rico is gonna be chilling with me for the remaining of the episode, right? Oh this is my boy right here. He's got a nice little POV. Wait. Why not? <laughs> my boy's crazy. Next hack. Now guys, for the last couple hacks, they've all been about looks. So this one, again, is a little bit about looks, but I've never actually seen an omelet or a burrito, or I don't really know what this is, but I gotta try it out myself. But essentially what we need is, boom, three eggs. One, two, three us. Here. Oh! Another one. Another twin! Yo, whoever raised these eggs, raise them nice. Facts. Again, with the whisk, boom, boom, boom. Break it up, break it up, break it up. Heat up the pan as usual, and then go ham with the pan on the pan. Boom, just like that. Now, boom, same thing, guys, what we want to do. Drop that low. Make sure we have a nice little circle. Cover that guy up just for a little bit. We're going to cook it half time here. All right, so we're just going to give it half time. 50% cooked, now we can grab our ingredients. Guys, what you see here is, obviously I got the variety bag. <laughs> you see the vibes? So add those right here. All right, boom, one right there, one right there. You see the vibes? Obviously, if you wanna cheese it up just a little bit, give this burrito some life. Yay! Right there. And guys, I have a little bit of green onion that I'm just gonna add on top. Okay, okay. Cover it back up. Let that bad boy cook for a bit. I think the burrito has fully cooked. Ew! Let's see if we're gonna get a perfect slide off. We gotta be quick here. Hey! Jeez! All right, guys, so now we just want this guy to cool down just a little bit so that we can start maneuvering it with our hands, but ultimately, we are gonna twist this guy into a burrito. What I wanna do is grab this part and flip it over here. Let that stay. Grab this part, flip it over here. So far, so good. Now, what they do, with their hands, although it's super hot, grab this and start rolling it like a burrito. Hopefully it doesn't, ah, it's gonna break. No! Ah, here goes nothing. Yay! Wide roll, wide roll. Oh my God. Wide roll. Bear roll, bear roll. Oh my God, it That's broke. So much, so much rolling. It broke. Why did I roll it like that? I don't know. Did it need to be longer? Maybe it needed a I think wider. you rolled it for no reason. I honestly, I think I rolled it for no reason. All right guys, now favorite time of the video, obviously the taste test time. I need a fork, so you want. All right, that's good, that's good. Relax, relax, relax. Salt, yes, yeah, 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 it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. All right. All right, here we go. Boom. Breakfast burrito vibes. Into the breakfast burrito, keto. The keto breakfast burrito. You see the vibes? Jeez. Okay, it's actually not bad. Now, does it taste the part? Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. What? What? What's going on? What's going on? That's a vibe. <laughs> That's a vibe. The rolling around was a little bit unnecessary, but I think if we did want to complete this, we just needed maybe a little bit bigger. Bigger pan, bigger, bigger pan. Bigger, yeah, more eggs. Maybe a little more eggs, but guys, fantastic. On to the last hack. So guys, for the last hack of the day, David Parody is Dumb H. I know this guy loves poached eggs, but I never really knew how to make poached eggs but until right now. And if you guys don't know how to make poached eggs, you're about to find out. So what we need is a measuring cup. Some piping hot water, guys. So I already got my water heated. You guys see the steam vibes. A splash of vinegar. Now I know this might sound gross, but here we go. I've oh. never tried this oh, tactic not, before. Yeah. We got our vinegar open. Uh, we just want like a little a teaspoon of this stuff. Yeah. All right, that's enough. Maybe a little more. Yeah. That's a lot. Okay, that might have been a lot. What we need is a little bit of salt, and then, guys, what we need is a fresh egg. What we want to do is just crack it in here. Mm. Holy smokes! And now put it in the microwave. Apparently. No way. Apparently. It's falling apart. In, yeah, definitely falling apart into the microwave one minute. Okay, here we go. Let's see. If this works, this is a banger. But it looked like it was falling apart. Yeah, it's open. And boom, the microwave is done. The moment of truth. Oh! All you guys who were talking bear smack at home, shut the fuck up.
cup. Wait, 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 wait. wait. See? The poached egg box. Now, what we want is one of these guys so we could soak out the water, but pretty much we want to grab the poached egg as gently as possible. Mm -hmm. Let all the water fall out. And now, wow. Onto the plate it goes. You wow. guys see the poached egg vibe. Now, we got to test if it's actually a poached egg. Pretty much, we got to see if David parody is aged. We need a knife. Yo, yo, chill. Chill with the knife violence, bro. Rico's watching, bro. Rico, bro. Can we sorry. Please turn this thing away, yo, bro, yo, please. I don't want to have to yeah. see him with his brother. Bro. Age old question Is David parody aged? Let's see. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I, everyone doubted me. I even doubted myself. Yeah. But there it was, guys. Egg cooking hacks with your boy Bomb DZ feature and your boy Wolf. Hey. You already know the vibe. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go down. Leave a huge like on the big like button down there. If you guys have any more cooking hacks that you would like to see me test on this channel, make sure you leave a comment down below and hey, your idea might just make it. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, take it easy. It's Bong Easy.